Hello, and welcome to this DAS Studio tutorial on Face Transfer 2. In this video, we're going to cover some of the how-tos as well as the do's and don'ts when it comes to using Face Transfer 2. First things first, I've got DAS Studio open here, and you see on the right-hand side, I have the Face Transfer tab open. This tab is used for both Face Transfer 1 and Face Transfer 2. If you can't find this tab, you can simply go up to the window, go to Panes, and find Face Transfer right here, and that'll bring up this window for you. Uh, currently, uh, the PC supports Genesis 8 and 8.1 through Face Transfer 1 and Genesis 9 through Face Transfer 2. Uh, at the moment, Intel Macs are currently supporting Genesis 9 uh, through Face Transfer 2, and we do intend for it to work on Apple Silicon M1s and M2s in the future as well, but there is no backwards uh, support for Genesis 8 and 8.1 at this time. So if you already have a character in your uh, scene that currently exists, you can use Face Transfer 2 on that character for the best results. You shouldn't have any expression on the face when you apply the Face Transfer. Uh, but for this tutorial, we're going to start from scratch. So in order to do that, we actually don't even need to have a character in the scene because with Face Transfer 2 installed, it will default to providing us with the Genesis 9 base figure. Uh, if Face Transfer 2 is not installed, it will default to a Genesis 8 character. So the first thing you need to do is you need to take a picture of yourself, of your friend, or whoever you might be uh, looking to do with their permission, or go and purchase an image that you want to use uh, for the character uh, that you want to have in your scene. Uh, your image needs to be a PNG or JPEG with a minimum size of 128 by 128. Uh, you will get the best results uh, if you use something like a passport style photo with neutral lighting, neutral expression, looking directly at the camera. Uh, and for people with longer hair, the hair should be pulled away from the forehead, temples, and cheeks uh, so it can get a very clear image of your face. So first things first, uh, in the face transfer tab, you see this section here that says source image, currently says none. We can either click on the three dots here or we can click on this drop down and click on browse. I already have some tests that I was doing here, so I'll just choose this guy here. It looks like a passport photo. There's that. This came from free stock. Uh, so now that I have my uh, image selected, you have to choose your gender. Uh, it defaults to female, so I'm just going to select male and then click generate. This is going to use this face on a default Genesis 9 figure and bring that into our scene as it stands right now. Uh, if you have not purchased Face Transfer 2, then you'll see in this section here, uh, it's going to say that you have three of three saves remaining, uh, at which point you can, once the character is in, click save. And what that will do is when the character first comes in, they're going to have a DAS Studio logo on their forehead. Uh, when you save that figure, that watermark is going to be removed from the forehead uh, for those first three um, samples that you have. If you want to continue to do it past those first three samples, obviously you'll have to purchase the product from the store, uh, which will provide you with a key. Uh, that key, uh, if you go into help and about install plugins, you'll see down here that you'll have face transfer and face transfer to. Uh, in this registration area, you're going to have this box along with a check mark and a cart. Uh, so when you get that key by purchasing through the store and it would be added to your account, you would copy that key, paste it in to this field that you see here that is next to face transfer or face transfer to, depending on the one that you purchased. Uh, and then click OK. You'll then have to restart your DAS Studio. Uh, but as soon as you restart it, then that'll be all cleared up and you can start generating uh, as many face transfer faces as you like. So our generation is finished here. Uh, as you can see, I don't have the saves because I already have a key uh, installed. However, if I click on the face, we can go to the front and hit Control F to frame it. There is our face transfer. So now we can start applying hairs, applying uh, facial hairs and everything else that we would normally do to a character. Uh, you'll also notice that uh, if we take this back out here and do a frame of our full body, that he comes with shorts and a t-shirt on. This happens for both male and female, just so that uh, we can avoid some nudity and, and they already have some clothing on for you to get an idea of what they're going to look like. So yeah, that is Face Transfer 2. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, have fun creating. 